It's very important to provide these experiences to students, particularly our students coming from Maryvale. It opens up just possibility and opportunities. We were able to go to the White House and see and hear all of the history in the White House. We were able to go to the Capitol and see where Congress, um, the House of Representatives, where they make all the laws. What, what do you think has been the most impactful part of this whole trip for you? Probably the, uh, the Holocaust and like obviously the uh, museum right behind us. The history part of this, this museum, the African American Museum, probably, probably hit hard on me. Just like any of the museums, regardless. Uh, natural history, this one, the African American one, the Holocaust, all show like the history behind it. Like everything that happened in that. The Holocaust and this museum right here. Most likely, this is the museum. The African Museum was most definitely the most impactful for me. You know, I think seeing our kids within like the Cartwright School District um, experience things like this getting out outside of Maryville, outside of Phoenix, outside of Arizona, and just being able to help them understand the history of this country alongside politics and everything we learn on this trip is something they won't get everywhere else. And I think it's really great that Cartwright is able to gift that to them. And so that makes it just a possibility for them. That's what this trip is all about, opening up possibility. What was your favorite museum and why? My favorite museum was the African American Museum because um, there was a lot of people I knew and uh, inspired, it, it, it inspires me a lot. My favorite museum had to be the Holocaust Museum because it let me know how hard life can be and I'm lucky to have what I have. My favorite museum was the Natural History Museum. My favorite museum was the African American Museum. I feel very humble and proud to be able to be a part of that process. Uh, last year was my first time coming to D.C., not on a school board conference, but as a chaperone for the trip. And it was really amazing and incredible to be a part of it. Uh, when I was a child, we went to things like Sunsplash, and that was within our own uh, state. And so it's been incredible to see them and time with our scholars, to hear their conversations, just how intelligent they are their thought process as we go to places like the Holocaust Museum, um, the American History Museum. So what's been the most important lesson you learned in this field trip? Let's start with you. I think the most important lesson is like time management, you know, like having to see who's going to take a shower and who's going to sleep with who. My, the most important lesson I learned was mostly like to learn new things, you know, and then the exploring was very helpful, and then the daily exercise was also So I think the important lesson that was taught here was learning the importance of having to know the history of the United States. And this is just one of the reasons why we wake up every morning to go to work, to be able to provide our students with this kind of experiences where they can be empowered and they can be informed and all the issues that are going on, not only in Maryville, but also in the U.S. Capitol. Opportunities like this just open up possibilities that lets our students know that they're capable of doing anything that they set their mind to, that any good thing that is out there, they can do it if they just work hard and go after it. Guys, I want you to tell me uh, what's something you learned here in Washington, D.C. that really stuck with you that you're really going to hold on to and take back with you. Probably the African American Museum because what I learned about my culture. One big takeaway that I'm going to uh, bring back is how much democracy is happening every single day and we don't even realize. One thing I learned is that you have to work for everything you want. I learned from the African uh, American History and Culture Museum because the people had to protest to get their rights and did for everything they have and for all the wars we fought, we had to fight to win those wars. Um, I think something that I can take away and definitely relearn from is the Holocaust Museum because it was 
um, a lot more enlightening than the first time we learned about it. So I think that this is a very important trip for these students. The students who've been studying history, government, and civics over the past year, and for them to come here uh, at the seat of our nation's capital and seat of our government to see um, the Capitol, the White House, all the museums, all the history and culture that we have here. Um, it's super important for them to, to actually see the things we've been talking about, but also I think it's important that they have these small little micro experiences of traveling on an airplane and on a city bus and on a subway and, and those little small things that happen throughout the day that they might not otherwise experience just staying within the community. They actually met a Holocaust survivor and they were able to talk about that and, and ask him questions. Like that wouldn't happen just sitting in a classroom. So taking them out and have real life experiences are what's gonna make the difference with our scholars. What are some life lessons that you learned on this trip to Washington, D.C.? I learned how to ride a train. I learned how to manage my money and be independent. Uh, I learned how to communicate and talk to people. To take a train. What are some things that you kind of picked up from the African American Museum of History and Culture? Like, what are some things that are going to stay with you? The history and the meaning behind it. It really is something. All the arts and all these people that have done so much to for this. How there is many people that supported the movement and how the ways they try making it possible to have African-American right. How many people sacrificed their, another lives, just like, did a lot. It was such a huge honor to be here with the Cartwright School District group from Glenelg Downs. They were by far the most respectful, well-behaved, well-dressed group of students that I'd seen everywhere. I, the first thing that I saw as an equity specialist is how equitable this experience was and that we're truly living up to those standards because everywhere you would go you would see a lot of students of uh, dominant culture and just to see a group of students of uh, minority culture in the Library of Congress, at the White House, in the Capitol, learning about voting rights, learning about voter suppression and how they can fight it themselves and within themselves at this age and then taking that commitment to do so was just so empowering and beautiful and wonderful to see. Is there anything that you'd like to tell everyone back at the district, your parents, our superintendent, your okay. teachers, your your principals? He's <laughs> like... Um, I want to tell them I'm very thankful for um, this opportunity because not many have this chance to come to DC and check how it is. I just want to say thank you for this opportunity because now there is a chance to do it. Thank you for this opportunity to come here and have a great time. Thank you for this opportunity and thank you for inviting me. I would like to give a deep, heartfelt thank you and appreciation to our governing board. It is amazing that it's approved and it is supported and we have been our governing board president on the trip with our kids. It's just, it's just amazing and I don't know of any other district or governing board that is this hands-on and it just makes me that much prouder to work for the Cartwright School District.